everybody. How y'all are? Yep, well, it's another one of those no dust Mondays. Except I'm running a little behind here, so I'm sorry, but I'm a little late. Uh, it's been a wild week or so. I figure I'd kind of fill you in a little bit. A whole lot of things happen. Uh, not a whole lot in the shop, I'm afraid to say. Weather's been rough. Been wet, real wet. Uh, been hot and humid. Gets real hot in the shop. And I gotta watch that heat stuff, so. I kinda gotta watch what I do, and where I go, and everything like that. And, uh, so my project's gonna take a little longer. No worry, I'm still working on it. Uh, number of things have happened during this week, though. Uh, I don't have it with me, but we've, I've been uh, using this Danzy cam, video camera, which is kind of like a, a GoPro, kind of wannabe thing, uh, action camera. Da -da -da. And uh, it worked real well. We liked it, and we were found a place that we were getting it under $100, and their website was just showing like, you know, 350 or something like that. Jen thought that was a pretty good deal, so we ordered another one. And this one we ordered didn't have all the whistles and bells in it, and like all the extra mountain mounting stuff and that because you don't you don't need that once you got you get you know you can, they just over and inundate you a lot of times with that stuff. And it's like they send you the stuff that you don't you're not going to use, and you still got to get those stuff that you're going to use. So we waited and waited about a week for it, and it came in, and it was dead out of the box. That thing wouldn't do nothing. I tried taking pictures with it and stuff like that, and it just wouldn't work. So we ended up sending it back, and now we're kind of looking to see if we can find another one. So this way I can kind of take the take the phone out of the, out of the picture. Uh, we'll try them all still, trying to work on sound. I've got a couple good microphones. I just haven't been able to figure out a way to hook them up to to a camera here in, in the shop to get them to work. I got them working at, in the, and do to do voiceovers and stuff like that on the computer, but nothing yet. But we're working on it, and uh, there are, it'll get better as we go along. Can't get much worse. Well, I guess it can. Anyway, so uh, that was going on. And then one evening we were sitting out in the back and well, kind of standing out during the evening. It had just been raining and it was real windy. We heard this loud snap and a dead thud. And uh, it sounded like it come from the front of the house. Well, I went through the house to look and see. And one of our, uh, the oak trees over here decided that it wanted to shed a limb. Well, this is talking about being blessed. This is, this is like a being blessed kind of story. Because what ended up happening was it had missed the house and hitting anything on the house by maybe six inches to a foot. It was laying out there. So he's like, well, I'm going to have to cut it up and get it ready for the garbage people to come bring it up. Well, weather been bad and I've been bad and everything else like that. And Finally today, I was feeling a little bit better, so I put my coveralls on, put the boots on. First time, I, second time I've worn them in almost two years, so it was a little, little bit of a challenge. I'm not used to wearing steel toe boots anymore, and I walked out there, and I was doing it and trying to get ready in, in anticipation for when they had the big truck come out and, that comes out with the big arm and picks up all the bulk stuff. Well, lo and behold. About the time that I got out there, the bulk truck was there. Well, he was picking up on some stuff on the other side, and I kind of hollered at him and talked to him a little bit and asked him if he could pick that up, and he was pointing at the tree that he couldn't get down in it. So I pointed at the street. If I could put it out in the street, would it be okay? And he said, oh, yeah, 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 give me a thumbs up on that. So uh, I grabbed on that limb, and... Uh, it was probably more than I, it's a lot more than I'm supposed to be pulling. 
And I drug that booger out there, and they come and sucked it up and got rid of it. So now all I got are just a few little twigs I'm gonna have to pick up, and everything will be back into back to normal. Uh, so that was a good thing because it saved me a lot of work cutting out, uh, cutting all that up and making it small enough for them to be able to throw it in the garbage truck. <coughs> and that also opens up for me to be able to mow again. And we won't talk about mowing. It's only been a week and two days and probably about ten minutes since I mowed the lawn and it looks like a jungle. It looks like some place that it hasn't seen a lot more in months. So most probably next day or two I'm going to have to do that, which of course takes out of my normal activity. So hopefully someday we'll be able to get back to actually doing some woodwork. Hopefully. You know. One of the things that I did this week, or well, last week really, was uh, I got a hair up my toe and decided I was going to go and try out this new, this dandy has got uh, what they call field of view. It's like a wide, super wide angle, wide angle, and then like a, like a medium narrow angle kind of thing. And I really didn't know which was which and how they looked and things like that. So I decided that I'd, I'd run out to the park and uh, film a uh, video, an area that I uh, had been kind of documenting through pictures and I don't know if I got any video on it or not. I don't think so. I think it's all pictures. Uh, as how it had changed over the past six years since I've been going there. I've fished there a lot and there's been some construction that have gone on and there's a whole bunch of things that went on over here in Great Town about them building this, uh, I think they call it a uh, I don't know what the hell they call it. I think they're calling it a, a, a barge something. Anyway, what they're doing is they're bringing barges up the, up, up the, uh, the bayou, and they're dropping them off there, and they're unloading them, or loading off the barges and on the trucks, and the trucks are going in, are taking the, the whatever they're hauling closer in, where there's some there's a couple industrial sites and stuff like that that are kind of like on the other side of the bayou. Uh, it's supposed to be cheaper or easier or something like that. I don't know the deal. But uh, there's a lot of environmental people complaining about and a whole bunch of stuff happening. But, you know, the federal government okayed it, so it's there. Well, I haven't had the opportunity to document it when it was done. And I guess it's done now. So I did turn around and I, I did that. And I did it in three different points of view. So this way it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. Who? Multitasking. Oh, yeah. Anyway, they're also taking a, and that's the over there by US 99. Or maybe not US 99. It's something 99. Highway 99, we call it. And they're expanding that by uh, going across the bayou. They're actually building another bridge across it. And they're going to expand it to four lanes instead of two uh, because of the what's going on, the traffic and everything that's going on over there. So I had an opportunity to get a few pictures of that. And uh, it being an ongoing thing, I'll probably take more video as it goes along until I finish and complete that. And then I just add it to the video or make another video or something like that and just keep going along. Heck, at the rate I'm going, by the time that I get uh, old, I'll probably have a whole hour-long documentary of nothing but pictures and little short videos. Hmm, what a concept. Anyway, so we did that and uh, I'm going to show that now because I want to see how it's going to look on YouTube and uh, I want to see the different field of view and see how that's going to go. So kind of bear with me because this is a test. Whee! Wide angle and uh, we're here to document Roseland Park. Uh, hopefully we'll get some documentation and stuff like that. And so let's go ahead and take the wide angle view and uh, see what happens. It is a little windy. Looks pretty good. That's where they went and did all that work and made a some kind of a 
Barbie thing. And now they're working on US-99. So, okay, let's go ahead and try a different mode. We're recording, okay, that's cool. Okay, so uh, this is the medium mode, like, not the really wide angle, but like the mini wide angle kind of thing. And we're going to take another shot and see how it looks. Kind of do a little pan. Maybe it'll get a little bit better quality. I don't know. I'm in shades. I can't see nothing. Probably can't hear nothing either. Okay, there's that one. Narrow, narrowest beam one. And we're going to try it and see how it goes. Now yeah, we're going to start. Close your eyes until I get it set up. Okay, there it is. Very the same pan and the whole same thing. And man, is it windy out here. Probably not going to hear anything I got to say. Just the wind. Jan's been busy. She's working on some kind of project she's painting. And uh, I'm going to show a sneak peek here. Hopefully she won't get mad. Uh, she hasn't done any artistic work to it yet. She's just making the pellets, as they say. And uh, what's going to happen with them, I don't know. But as soon as uh, she gets them done, I'll share. Cause I like sharing her work. She does good work. She's really artistic. Boy, is she artistic. I'm more artistic than I am. I'm just kind of a slap some paint on and nail some wood together and hopefully it comes out to be okay. Anyway, so uh, I'll add that to, to the video to make a short story longer. Well, as far as I know, that's about everything that I've done that's been uh, video worthy. There's a lot of other stuff that went on, but you know, nobody cares about that. Actually, it, probably something that wouldn't want to be discussed anyway. Oh, yeah, I got one more thing. Uh, I just downloaded, I, I've been doing some, uh, some revamping on the computers and all that, and I got a laptop that uh, is, is going to go to a friend of mine, and uh, I've been thinking about doing that for a while, but I want to get all my personal, you know, get all personal information off of it. So this way it opens up like it's a new machine or new so fresh software. And that particular machine has gone through uh, XP and Windows 7, or maybe even just Windows 7. And then we put it up into Windows 10. Well. I was thinking about, well, how am I going to do that? I'm looking around. How am I going to, how am I going to rebaseline that? You know, I don't. This was a, an uploaded, or you know, the upgraded deal and and all that. And then times before, I've had to do that, and I've had to go all back to like Windows 3 and work my way up on this upgrade, and that upgrade, and this upgrade, because that's what I've been buying. You know, just uh, upgrades, because that's what we've been doing. We've been upgrading the software. Well, it just so happens. I was looking around, I started to delete and clean stuff out and everything on it, because the guy's got to have this thing, you know, and there's no reason why he does, he shouldn't have it, and uh, I just happened to run across a deal where they have a place in Windows 10, if you look at it in the, in the settings thing, where you can take it and you can baseline it to where it's like brand new, gets rid of all your information, wipes it all out, cleans it all out, as to how secure it is, I don't know. But they said that that's there for when you, like if you want to donate it to somebody. And I would think that they would want that, that it would be pretty secure and wipe out all your personal information on it. Make it pretty much a blank palette. I'm not worried about him doing anything with my stuff. I mean, I, you know, I, I don't care. Heck, he gets on my computer and plays with it over here when he's here. But uh, it's more to make it easier for him so this way he can set it up the way he wants it. I don't you know. I don't want to influence how he wants to operate 
his machine. I mean, it's going to be his machine. So I wasn't seeing when I found that. So we got that kind of straightened out. I've been trying to speed the, not really speed the machines up, but kind of keep them optimized. And uh, I downloaded this free, I've been using IOBits uh, Smart Defrag for quite a while. And it's been a real good system. I've updated I don't know how many times. And they, I uploaded the free version of one of their, their other programs that's like for going through the whole system. And I was able to catch a few things that uh, had normally, had been in there for a while, I guess, uh, on two of the machines that I, that, that I work on. One of them is uh, what started out as our like data holding machine, and it's actually become the the machine that I use for processing video and stuff. It's quad core. It's slow, but what's nice is I can turn around, and do whatever needs to be done, and then set it on the side and let it churn the videos out, and I can be doing the internet, or doing something else on the other machine. Kind of like multitasking again, huh? So. Uh, I went through, I've been going through and they've been scanning that and it's, it's working pretty good. I, I don't know how long or how long, how, how often I need to do this or anything, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. But other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, of course a once a week deal, you know, how much is there to go on in a week? They go by so fast and the older you get, the faster they go. I want to give a shout out and say hi to everybody and uh, hope you all have a good time and a uh, nice week and hopefully we'll uh, get to put out another another addition to our project video and uh, oh let me put a plug in for ultimatebass.com a place where if you're a bass fisherman if you're a fisherman of any kind you can get a lot of good information from them and 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 they give away free prizes so you might be interested in that. So if you like bass fishing and you're any place in the country, uh, you might be interested in getting involved with those people. They're real good people. So uh, y'all have a nice week.